say you have a very boring spreadsheet like this one where you have to update day in day out every day and then uh, you're just sick of it you want to have a big chance to it you want to have a dark mode so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go in the ribbon you need to make sure that you have the developer tab on top here if you don't you just click on the on the ribbon somewhere here customize the ribbon and once you're here you click in the developer mode here so developer after you go into the developer tab uh, you make sure that you have design mode on and then you insert uh, ActiveX control the toggle button here you just and then you draw the, the button here so once you once you've created the button uh, the first thing that you can do is to rename it so you go into edit and then you call it for instance dark mode on off and then what you need to do you need to right click on it and go into property and you have a linked cell here so linked cell um, just, just type a1 for instance so it will be the top left cell here and uh, you'll see what it does when I remove uh, design mode you click on it and then it gives you true and false in that field here so you go back into design mode you put this here you, this way you hide it and then you you give this this field the, the size that you want so now that we have created this toggle um, we need to do some formatting and it, it, it's very simple so we go under the home conditional formatting and we create a new rule and we use a formula to determine which cells to format so the formula will be very simple it will be a1 you select a1 is equal to true so when this is true when the dark mode is true then we want to apply the dark mode formatting and uh, what do we want so this is where you decide what you can have i want the field to be deep blue and i want the font to go white deep blue and the font to go white and i press ok and what you need to do is to make sure that this is applies to and so applies to so this is where you need to to select more or less everything so you can either press on this triang triangle here and that would apply to the world spreadsheet or you can just select the part of the screen that you want it uh, to be applied to so um, let me illustrate that you know i'm just gonna i'm not gonna take the world spreadsheet i'm just gonna take the first part here and after I press apply here so that's it it's more or less done so I, I will I will go f through some you know fine-tuning if you like but um, I need to make sure that I remove uh, the design mode on so that's it you have it so you can move that somewhere else um, you can do a few improvements you might not like the headings there uh, you think it's a bit too confusing so what this is what you can do now you can repeat the process with just changing the formatting for this so for instance you, you just select the heading here you go under conditional formatting uh, you create a new rule same principle the a1 here is true and then you change your format here you said uh, i want something a bit lighter here for this and i want a dark font so that will be the changes that i would make from the from this so now what you what you need to do you need to make sure that you go back into the manage rules you need, need to make sure that oops select one of the fields that has been impacted that select one of the fields of the heading you go to conditional formatting you go to manage rules and what you do here you 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 put stop if true for this heading yeah i don't want to uh, go through all the other dark mode formatting and the only formatting I want to do is for the heading. So I, I just stop it. Otherwise, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be overwritten um, by, by this one here. So now let's check if it works. It works. So another thing that you can do is if you want something to, to, to not change, um, if you have a logo or something like this, a logo color or something that you want to keep consistent, what you can do is you create a text box create a text box you put it there say um, you fill it with one of your favorite colors and then you say for instance this is a risk register 
core project a b c c and then you center all this you increase the font you center all this so this is just to really bold this is just to illustrate that as it is a text box it's not it would not be impacted by the conditional formatting that you have created so if i press here that will stay all the time 